downgrading isn't something I usually recommend. In fact, I almost always suggest people to go and factory data reset their phone before deciding whether or not they choose to downgrade the version of Android that's running on their phones. But I do understand that resetting your phone isn't going to fix bugs that are embedded deep into the firmware. And when we have stories like this, a lot of people are not willing to wait an entire month to fix some very critical bugs that they're experiencing with the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. So it's clear why some people would rather go back to a working ver version of Android rather than just continuing using their broken device. So I would like to take this video to show you all how to safely downgrade Android on your Google Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro. Now before we can start though, there are some requirements that you're going to need to do ahead of time. For instance, you're going to need to have the bootloader unlocked in order to flash firmware images using the Android Flash tool. You'll also want to know how to enable developer mode so that you can then enable things like USB debugging mode. If you're not familiar with how to do any of this, be sure to check the video description below because I'll be including links to my previous videos where I showed you exactly how to do all of that. We can downgrade Android on the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro using either the Android Flash Tool website in Chrome on the desktop or using a command line on the desktop. This video I'll be using the Android Flash Tool website in Chrome. So we're going to visit the Google Factory Images for Nexus and Pixel Devices page. And if you're not familiar with where this is, again, I'll be linking to it in the video description as well. On the right side of the screen, we're going to click the device we have. In this instance, it is the Google Pixel 6. And you can see here are the firmware files that we have available to install on the Pixel 6. Google has just rolled out the March over-the-air update, but many people are experiencing bugs with this update. In fact, many people are experiencing bugs with the February update too. So I'm going to show you how to downgrade back to the January, but it doesn't matter which version firmware you pick here. We're just going to select the firmware that we want to downgrade to we're going to do this to the January and we're going to click the flash button next to it. Now when we do that, we're going to see this allow ADB access button to appear. We're going to allow access and then it's going to tell us that no devices are available and that's because we have not plugged in our phone. So let's plug in our Pixel 6 and if you haven't done so already, you're going to need to enable USB debugging mode as well. So from here, we're going to click the select device button and choose our Google Pixel 6. Now we have already selected a build so that this option is going to have the build we selected. We're going to ignore the advanced options here, but we are going to select the wipe device option. If we are downgrading to an older version of Android, we need to wipe the device clean. So back up any important data before we begin. Now with this ready, we're going to click the install build button. It's gonna give us some information. This is the device we have selected. This is the firmware we have selected. Remember the January security update. And this is just going to warn us. So this is going to factory reset our phone. Remember, do not interact with the device unless instructed to do so by this page. And do not unplug your device. When you're ready, we're gonna click confirm 
we're going to accept this license and we can follow along with this current status right here. If everything goes smoothly, you should see your Pixel 6 reboot and it's going to boot us into fast boot mode, also known as bootloader mode. But again, while this device is booted into fast boot mode, do not interact with the device unless instructed to do so. So we're not going to touch the phone, we're not going to touch the USB cable. We want to make sure the phone has a secure connection to our PC while this downgrade process is in effect. So right now we are downloading the January firmware update, the security patch for January for the Google Pixel 6. So the amount of time this download takes will depend on how fast Google's servers are at that time, how fast your internet download speed is. Again, we're just going to wait patiently for the Android Flash tool to do the work for us. So we are going to see our phone reboot a few times. That is normal. And again, we're just following along with the Android Flash Tool progress bar. Even though it may seem like this part is getting stuck, again, we're not going to unplug the phone, we're not going to interact with the menus on the phone. You can see that Google has taken this partition data 
broken it up into 11 different parts. It's then taking these individual parts, uploading them to our device, and then once that upload finishes, it's flashing that part to our device. There are many image files that need to be flashed during this downgrade process for the Google Pixel 6 and Google Pixel 6 Pro. And when Google releases the Pixel 6a, this downgrade process will work for that device as well. We can see the installation has been completed and our Google Pixel 6 has rebooted. Once the phone has rebooted, you can then unplug that USB cable. And this first boot back into Android could take a little bit longer than normal. Remember we just did a factory data reset basically, as well as a downgrade to an older version of Android. So the Google Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro is going to need to set some things up so that it can take you to the Android activation screen. So after skipping through most of this, We are then taken to the home screen where we can go into the about section and check that we are now on an older version of Android. Just as I showed you on the monitor, we have downgraded from our February security update down to the January version of Android 12. So that wraps up this video showing you how to downgrade the Google Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. We went from a version of Android 12 to an older version of Android 12, but this likely will continue to work when going from 12.1 to Android 12, or even Android 13 back to Android 12.1.